circular motion. So what is circular motion? Let us see an object. Let's see this is the point. This is a fixed point. So a circular motion is the word motion of an object or movement of an object about a fixed point. This is the point. So with constant speed. Uh, I'm sorry, SF is somehow constant speed but moving direction. This is it. The speed here can also be what the velocity. Let's see the velocity here. Is it we have another velocity here? And we have another velocity, let's see this way. So this thing, the velocity here is a vector. So velocity here, velocity here, they are all equal. So in the speed it is taken in this place equal to the speed taken in this place, speed taken in this place. So that is and acceleration is what acting like this so acceleration too is uniform acceleration is uniform so for this place the acceleration to is uniform uniform means that was it is like constant to acceleration so now there are some points you have to know for the in this uh, circular motion so what are the points the first thing is that what a circular motion why well, it moves with what constant speed speed or velocity too but what varying direction that is if you notice here, the speed here is equal to the speed here equal to the speed here but the direction varies so it is moving with constant speed but what varying direction that is why another thing is that what the, ve the velocity is always what tangential to what to the circle that is it is always one like when we have a circle like this so a line passing through this uh, circle like this passing through the circumference of this circle is uh, the tangent tangent of, of the earth of the circle so now to so the velocity is what the velocity is always tangent to the circle that's it the velocity is what always always tangent to to the circle It's always tangent to the circle. Another thing is that what the acceleration is directly inward. If you notice there's one arrow there I put here. So it is showing that what it is inward. No. This this last one is supposed to be coming to the center. So inward, inward, inward. So that's it. the word acceleration A is what directed in word so another point is that what the particle travels the circumference of circle so you travel the circumference of circle that is in this place you know that our velocity we can just that velocity is what displacement over time right so now what would be for example the object is starting from this place like this so and it is traveling about this fixed point and it is going like this so from this point to this point is the circumference of circle I mean and you know from mathematics circumference of circle of a circle is given as a 2 pi r so since the circumference of circle is 2 pi r, our v here can be what? 2 pi r over what? t. And our time can be what? Our time can be what? 2 pi r over what? v. So this is it. Our velocity can be what? 2 pi r over t. That is the displacement. And because 
this thing is changing direction and you know displacement is the movement of is the distance covered with a specific direction so that's why uh, it is what the displacement and displacement there will be what circumference of the circle to pi r so now we have something we call what centripetal acceleration acceleration so it is given as let's say that acceleration a is, is what change velocity over time a bit so centripetal acceleration let's call it ac like the c here so now oh it is given as what v square over what r now this is what centripetal acceleration we now have what we call centripetal force beta what force you know normally our force is because of mass times with acceleration so using the centripetal acceleration now the centripetal force now because of what let's say it is fc as the centripetal force force it is now because of mass times with centripetal acceleration so it is now what mass what's our centripetal acceleration v square over what r so centripetal force is now equal to what mv square over what over r this one formula of centripetal force now from um simple harmonic motion v velocity is called what omega r where omega is what uh, angular speed angular speed of velocity speed or what velocity and r is what radius this is also a formula and the v is what the normal velocity let me say linear velocity now i want to derive something since uh we have our v there so let's substitute this v which is what omega r into the equation now how do we do that so substituting v into the equation it will not work force will not be because of centripetal force will not be because of mass multiplied by what omega r then square over what r so our centripetal force will not be because of mass omega square r square right over what r so our centripetal force will not be because of one f r here will cancel one r here now what omega m omega square r so our centripetal force can also be what this and it can also be this depending on, on what we are given now and note that what angular velocity is what theta over t where this is what angular distance distance so sometimes they will give us from equation theta and they will give us time but they will not give us omega and they will not give us velocity so we can use this formula but before we can use this formula we have to know our angular speed but we don't know it. since they are, they've given us the time and what angular distance so we can easily get omega from there and then we use it to solve question. now let's move to example and solve questions now this is the question an object of weight so they are given with the first thing that the parameter weight what 150 newton, right? It's 150 newton. Move with the constant speed of this. So this is our V. This is our 4.5. So our speed can also be our velocity. Okay, circular part. So it is a circular motion. So radius is what? 3 meter. Calculate its centripetal acceleration and centripetal force. Everything. So we have to get centripetal acceleration before we can calculate this. So now. But we know that our centripetal acceleration, we are looking for centripetal acceleration, which is what A C is equal to what V square over what R. Fine, we can get our centripetal acceleration by what? As our V 4.5 square over what? What's our R3? So 4.5 4.5 square over what? This. We have what? Pressing this into a calculator 4.5 square divided by what 3 we have 
acceleration is in what meter per second squared. So you write the unit digit. Now for centimeter force, so what are the two formulas for centimeter force? You know that centimeter force is simply mass times what centimeter what acceleration. So and uh, for centimeter force, it will surely have what mass. So centimeter force is also equal to what um, m v square over what r. And we already we've already gotten the value of v square over r, which is this, which is the same thing as this. So centimeter force is also equal to what mass omega square r. We are not given omega, so we don't need anything like this. So we can't use this formula here. But we can use this, we can use this. This and this are still the same. Now, let's simply use this. Ah. So, our mass, but we don't we don't know the mass. And you know that weight is equal to what? Mass times what? Acceleration due to gravity G. So, taking our acceleration due to gravity to be what? 10. You know that making mass the solve formula, you divide the by what? G. So our uh, mass will now be equal to 150 newton over, over what 10. So our uh, mass will now be equal to what 15 kg. Now this is the mass we will use now. So we now have 15 multiplied by 6.75. Then we get our centimeter force. And so we have a 101.25. Force is measured in what newton. So here is our answer. So example two, yeah, we have a stone of mass, uh, fifty what kilogram. I mean, so our mass is what, our mass fifty gram, and you know our mass is supposed to be in what kilogram. So what do we do? That was uh, five hundred divided by one thousand because kilo is what one thousand. So divide, and we have what our answer to be what zero point five. So our answer is what zero point five. Kilogram. And we are giving what length of what rope of what 50 centimeter long. So, what is the distance 50 centimeter long is just the basic radius. So, the distance radius so 50 centimeter. So, to meter it will be what 15 divided by what 100. Is it divided by the no? I say 50 times. Yeah, it is still the same thing. Divided by 50 times 10 is by minus 2. Centi is what 10 is by minus 2. Then we have what 0 0.5 meter. Yeah. So what's the next thing? Angular what? Y at an angular what? Velocity of what? 12 right per second. So angular velocity is omega is what 12 right per second the unit is correct like this omega is what theta over t and this second where theta is measured in what rad now we are good to go so we have to find centimeter force centimeter force so we will use the formula that was mass omega square r then we insert the value 0 0.5 into back over 12 then into bracket what our r is what 0 0.5 so once we multiply all these together we have 36 newton which is our force so this is the second example using the second formula now let's solve the last question now this So now this is the last example. This is the UTM question. That is a jump question. Uh, it is what if a wheel 1.2 meter in diameter rotates at one one revolution revolution per second. Calculate the velocity of the wheel. So now the velocity is what omega r. So now from simple harmonic motion we have omega to be what theta over what over t when this theta can be what 360 now one revolution you got what 360 and 
is equal to what? 2 pi radian. And you know that this one is what in degree. So and the unit of this omega is rad and per second. So if you have to use this is you have to convert it to what radian and you will now use it. But now we have something like pi and it's in radian. So we have radian here. So why why can't we do it like so it's now with what's our theta two pi? So since it is one revolution, so we now use two pi right. Well, per second that is one minute, that is a one second. So now our omega will not be because of two pi. Now we've got in omega. What's our r? Since our r is because of what the diameter of our two, because this this is circle. This center. Well, from this place to this place is radius. From this place to this place is radius. But well, from this place to this place is diameter. So our diameter is equal to two radius. So making radius solve the formula, we have this divided by both by two. Now, I given our radius to be one point two meter. Then over two, so it will now be what zero point six. Uh, our velocity will now be equal to what two pi multiplied by what zero point six. So it will now be what two times what twenty two over seven times what zero point six. So it will now be what. So calculating everything together, we will have um, we have what everything together we have what 3.8 meter per second, and which is option B. So this is just it. Thanks for watching. Please click on the subscribe button, like my videos, comment, share with friends. Thank you. Please subscribe, like, and also comment.